We are the Southwest Washington Association of Business Leaders. We're your local chambers of commerce and your business organizations, and we represent more than 2,000 businesses in Southwest Washington. We've pooled together our resources to help support our businesses both sustain and grow in this economy, and we're asking for your help. We pose a simple question, do we get it? Do we get it as consumers that our decisions either help or hinder our local businesses, our local communities, and our local economy? We'd like for you to hear from some of our local businesses and your neighbors how you can help. I think we get it. I just don't think we think about it. And, and to me, it's, it's thinking about your purchases a little differently versus just price, uh, convenience, uh, experience. It's really thinking of the other things that you don't think naturally around purchases, which comes down to um, schools, fire, police, parks, roads, and, and even your neighbor's employment. All of the purchase decisions we make truly have a domino effect on this community. If you want your community to be unique and have character and have things that you won't find anywhere else and experiences that you won't find anywhere else, then you keep your dollars local because that's what keeps those independent small businesses here for you. We buy all of our ingredients for our scones that we serve as well as um, on our high teas on the weekends um, through local markets and bakeries. And then we also support a lot of um, local artists through consignment or wholesale um, that, so they're able to sell their items in our shop. Um, it's really important for us to just keep things as local as possible to support our community here. Um, Antec employs roughly 55 people in Clark and Cowlitz counties, and those people all live in Clark and Cowlitz counties. And so when uh, we're a labor-based uh, firm, a service firm, and when we write our paychecks every week, that money stays in Clark and Cowlitz counties. We're a family business, and we believe in supporting our family. And I look at it as I want to support my community because that's my extended family. So if you look at it from that perspective, the incentive is to, uh, to look at your family first. It's really important, um, not only for small businesses, but for folks who live in this community, that we, we support one another, um, that we, we buy our supplies locally, that we go to local restaurants. Um, it gives us more options and more choice. When we, we shop outside of the area, um, the local restaurants aren't getting enough clients, they have to lay off employees, um, or they can't stay in business, and then we have fewer options here in town. And it just, it impacts everyone. It has a trickle-down effect when we're not spending our dollars locally. Individuals shopped here in Southwest Washington, and specifically in Vancouver, in the case of my information, we would have an additional $10 million to do things that we, that we can't currently do. A $100 purchase in the city of Vancouver. 8.2% or $8.20 would be collected for the sales tax revenue. Of that amount, about 80% or $6.50 goes to the state. The remaining 20% or $1.70 remains here locally. $1 for city services, 50 cents for CTRAN, 10 cents for the county's law and justice services, and 10 cents for the county's meth addiction uh, drug uh, program. I, I really believe that uh, they do try to keep their money in the state of Washington. Uh, I think you'll find, uh, starting with our gas tanks, I think you see that most of our people do supply the gas stations in the local area. I think pretty much everything, they buy the, most of their groceries here. Uh, it just, just wish that we had better uh, lunch bucket trade for our people to work more so so they didn't have to work across the river. It's really important for us to contribute back to our community by employing people that live here in Washington to provide for their children that go to school, to provide money that goes back into the you know the fire system and the, the police of our region and allowing those tax dollars to filter back into our community. We utilize local materials that are harvested very locally here in Washougal. Um, one of our lead designers has a great um, resource for locally grown product in addition to the things that we do import. We do employ local craftsmen here that create very stylish, beautiful flowers. And so when you put your dollars local here in Washington, 
you're going to get great results. If we keep our spending power here in Southwest Washington, it um, betters our schools, it betters our community, it gives us, and we have stronger relationships. I think it's, that is a huge piece of it. It's very easy to maybe pop over to the other side of the river, but is it that easy when you have a service issue? And for my clients, service is critical. And so when they have somebody who's part of this community, they feel more comfortable. Well, I happen to also be a member of the Evergreen School District Board of Directors. And so um, every day, I am very aware of what the local tax structure and how it impacts our schools. Um, as we're looking at very stringent budget cuts, it can impact what happens in education. And we have felt very well supported by our community. And we, uh, for instance, when people come into shop, we can tell them that other, uh, other shops or other restaurants are around. People come back and say, gee, there's, there's fabulous food in that restaurant. I didn't know about that. Or gee, I had a great shopping experience down the street. And I think we need to just, some people just need to break their habits of where they think they can go to have to find something unique or find something that, um, a fun experience, when they can really find it in their own downtown. If they just get outside their own neighborhood and go someplace else, you can discover some great um, treasures that are hidden right here in our Clark County area. We do a lot to encourage Vancouver people and people in Southwest Washington to shop here. We absorb the sales tax, which means that we generally have a lower gross margin than furniture stores do nationally but we're willing to do that to support the community, keep our business going. So we like our customers to support us and we like to in turn support them with their nonprofits and uh, employing the people that we do here in our business. Uh, when business is good, we hire about 15, 20 people on our payroll and we've been at it a long time. It gives me no greater pleasure than those moments when you do get to uh, meet the next generation of, uh, of customer or friend that uh, will come in and, and uh, give you the opportunity to help them make that most special purchase of a wedding ring or an anniversary present or say a birthday gift. Um, those, uh, those are really what we look forward to and cherish. Uh, it makes you feel like you're really part of the community and have made friends. Here at ALX Fitness, we spend our dollars locally by first off shopping locally. We think about who our providers are. Right across the street, I've got a partner at the grocery store. It's a whole food organic store. I can go shop there and spend my dollars right there. That's going to develop a relationship right here in my community, and I know it's supporting jobs locally. Versus, I know I can buy like certain things online per se to get maybe a dollar or two saved, but if I go right down to my local store and buy those electronics, yeah, I might spend $2 more, maybe even $20 more, but I know in the long run I'm actually supporting my infrastructure because I'm not having to drive across the bridge or go somewhere else to spend those dollars or support some other economy that's not going to benefit my school systems. So when it comes to buying exercise equipment, when it comes to basically buying goods for food or making recommendations to clients, I'm thinking who are my local providers first. Our call to action is pretty simple. Everyone can participate. We can help improve our local economy and help build jobs by thinking local first because as a community, we get it. And we thank you for your support.